to free uh, free record this and show you my uh, my basically my telescope setup for astrophotography. So this is uh, this mount that's set up here. This is the EQM uh, 35. It's a Skywatcher EQM 35 Pro. Um, and essentially on the bottom down there. Starting at the very bottom, we've got a Celestron uh, power adapter. So this is a power adapter. Uh, basically, I'm just running it off of a normal power source. I'm not using a battery like some people, so I'm just using an outlet and going straight in. Uh, it's a 12 volt power adapter uh, that runs the whole mount. So if we uh, pan up a little bit, uh, we have the EQM uh, 35 Pro um, controller unit for the mount. So this is what controls the mount and tells the mount where to go. What tells it to go is the ASI Air Pro. So the ASI Air Pro basically uh, is a control a controller unit that controls um, guiding, uh, capturing, polar alignment. Uh, it does uh, uh, just about everything that you can imagine. Um, so uh, it comes with extra power cables uh, that you can connect into. So basically what I do is uh, from that Celestron power adapter, the power adapter goes up and then runs the power on the ASI Air Pro. On the bottom of the ASI Air Pro, we have power adapters down here. They're 12 volt power adapters. And these adapters is what runs all the power for the rest of the, the rig. So basically my first port, it's got four ports down here. I don't know if you can see them all, get down there a little bit. So the first power adapter uh, plugs directly into the controller unit for the EQM powers the EQM uh, controller. The second power uh, basically goes into my electronic autofocuser, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, that basically focuses my telescope so I don't have to focus in the evenings when it gets cold. And then uh, another power adapter goes into my DSLR uh, to power my DSLR so I don't have to use batteries. And eventually, uh, once my ASI 533MC Pro Astro camera comes, uh, basically I will just plug in a power connector there into the camera and I won't have the DSLR anymore. On the opposite side of the, the ZWO ASI Air Pro, we've got four U USB ports, uh, two are USB 2 and two are USB 3. So uh, starting here in the back, I've got the uh, USB EQM connector, which connects in through RJ45, which goes into the hand controller port. And basically what happens is that uh, with the ASI Air application, I connect in here through Wi-Fi uh, with my iPad, and you can use Android or iOS, either or, uh, cell phone or tablet, and basically connects in and it drives the mount and it tells it where to go when I'm taking pictures at night. Um, I've got another connector, which goes to the uh, ZWO electronic autofocuser. So that's the USB connector, which basically the ASI Air can talk to it and do focusing. And then I've got uh, my DSLR USB cable, uh, which goes into my Nikon, and this is going into the USB uh, 3.0. And then I've got uh, another USB cable, which goes to the ZWO ASI uh, camera up top, which I'll show you here in just a second. And that camera is for guiding. So uh, we'll go ahead and pan up the mount. Uh, this is basically the rest of the mount. So on the bottom down here, uh, this big red unit is your red cat. Uh, or mine, not the, <laughs> it's the, it's the, <laughs> like I said, we're just going for freelance in here. So this is the Red Cat, uh, William Optics Red Cat uh, 51, which is a 250 millimeter uh, uh, triple, triple glass. I forget what they always call it, it's APO, um, uh, APO telescope. So below that, um, I've got an extended mount here. So this mount bracket here, and this mount bracket here, and this uh, gear connector, and then this band, which wraps around. Uh, this this connector is all through Deep Sky Dad. So Deep Sky Dad, um, he prints these and then uh, ships them out to you and has all the parts fabricated and it hooks up uh, to, the, to the base of the Red Cat and stuff like that. And then essentially in there, you can hook up the electronic autofocuser. So this is the... Uh, the ZWO electronic autofocuser, which again is being controlled through USB through the ASI Air and then powered by the ASI Air. And then basically it tells it, hey, this is where to focus when I'm shooting stars in the sky. 
Uh, in the very back, we've got the DSLR. It's a Nikon D5500. It's uh, unmodified, it's just a stock camera. I've got the USB connector, which goes back to the ASI Air. And then I've got a, what looks like a little battery uh, with power. And uh, essentially uh, that way I don't have to be switching out batteries all night on the Nikon. I can just plug this in so it goes 12 volt and then it does like a, there's a connector down here which uh, converts it so I don't have to mess with the power and stuff like that. So on top of the Red Cat, uh, we've got the handlebar. It's the Red Cat handlebar is what they call it, uh, which hooks into the ZWO 30 millimeter scope. And then in the back of that, um, I've got a connector in this little connector. It's a little uh, RJ11 connector, which goes all the way back down into the main mount in here. And this is for auto guiding. So what this does is that while the ASI Air is guiding, it's telling uh, it's telling the mount to move, uh, basically uh, declination and right ascension uh, as the mount moves. So the mount will will move one way or another. So essentially, like I can kind of move it here and get an idea. So it does very very small movements, not even that big, <laughs> but I'm just kind of giving an idea of the mount moving. Uh, so basically, it just tells it uh, to basically do the declination and right ascension. Uh, to move them out and follow the stars while I'm shooting. Uh, so basically, then it's got a USB cable which connects in and basically feeds in the camera. And then on the ZWO uh, uh, scope, you basically have these little um, bolts that you can move and then you can basically move in and out the camera. So the camera will move in and out so you can focus on the stars. So I'll show that off later when it gets dark tonight. Uh, and I'll shoot even though it's maybe a little windy tonight. It may not be perfect shooting weather, but that's okay. Um, so, with the ASI Air Pro, um, again, it's it's got built-in Wi-Fi. Um, if we look on the other side over here, you'll also notice a network adapter. Uh, the network adapter is basically for um, controlling other mounts. Uh, and then there's users that have used like um, a USB to network cable to hook in here to basically allow for longer connections and stuff like that. I have a Wi-Fi extender in the house which connects to this. So by default the ASI Air Pro has a 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and then when you join it to your network, your local network at the house um, or home or wherever you're at, uh, it basically drops down to 2.4 gigahertz. But if I am connecting directly from my iPad, um, I can still stay at the 5 gigahertz. Uh, in case I didn't mention it, uh, this is a 32 gig SD card, and this is where all the images go, which is stored. Uh, they also include a 64 gig um, USB connector, but because I'm using all my USB adapters, I'm just basically imaging and putting all my images on here. Uh, when I get my ZWO uh, ASI um, uh, 533 MC Pro camera, it has more USB adapters, so I can move some of this stuff off so I can free up maybe a port and stick the 64 gig, but I don't know if it matters. I mean, there's so much space on the 32 gig. I can hold a whole night's worth of images, even two nights, maybe even three nights. It just depends on the size of the, the format, but that's kind of the breakdown of it and uh, uh, kind of give you an overview. So we'll pan out a little bit here and let you see the whole setup. And then uh, I'll be shooting tonight uh, from my portal class blue skies. And as you can see, it is blue everywhere. Anyways, uh, that's kind of uh, my setup here in my backyard.